It's never easy these days, as if the sun never laid a color anywhere. Actually, it was very freaky to wake up one day and to find that everything is black and white, like the Michael Jackson song. Fuck, this is depressing. Freakish call yet. As I came to realization, that was no phone. Radio. What is going on with that radio? The call was made and the investigation was on. What or who is in Dornet? <laughs> After a long white time of investigation, I find it all out. Cyberspace is a world within a world full of shit that nobody gives a fuck about. And also, there is... Hacker. This film from the 90s really went haywire about computers. Get it? Haywire? Excuse me. Fuck it. The little boat flipped over. It's about this boy who had computers when he was like 10? Since the movie takes place a few years later, we had to assume he used a 80s computer. He must be the coolest kid in the block. Actually, his name was Zero Cool. Yeah. Anyhow, the guy is now around the age of 19, and a total dumb fuck in social skills, but still a lord with the computers. He gets to meet a couple of nice pals and uh, get a love interest who treats him like shit. Actually, I kind of like his relationship with Angelina Jolie. She's an asshole, but uh, also quite good as a rival to Zero Cool. No meaningless girl saying, help me, all the time. The best part is when Zero Cool and Angelina play some what? What? Is... Wipeout? Actually, that's right. The first version of Wipeout for PlayStation 1. Sweet as fuck. All this stuff aside, we have his dickhole. I don't know why, but I hate this character. The story for these hacking buddies is to infiltrate a supercomputer, because this guy, the plague, is hiding something in the computer he wants to remain hidden. Or... something. Stupid and awesome at the same time, here comes the hacking scenes. They make no sense. But is that bad? Oh no. These are a wonder to look at, even though it makes no sense whatsoever. And as any movie from the 90s, it's packed with product placement. This guy here is called Nikon. Well, I wonder where I got that name from. <laughs> Overall, this is a 90s film that hasn't aged too well. Is that a bad thing? Nope. I like this movie a lot. Three of five stars. So-called American Indians, Latinos, and Blacks come from a genetically mediocre stock. Yak, yak, yak. Being aware of racial division. Get a job. And I am. 